like I said, I don't know if I'm, I'm maybe doing something wrong. I think I did it all right. I followed all the instructions I could find online about it down to the letter. And for some reason, it still just does not seem to be cooperating. Welcome back, my little boobalas. I hope you are all doing fantastic today. Today, guys, we are back in some Minecraft ties, nature survival, and we are here in Halloween Town. Now, we've got a lot I want to address today, some things I want to kind of try to get done. However, before we do anything, let's start this day off with our little game here well first before we get started the last time we played guess that movie I never really got around to addressing what movie that was or the added bonus question what short story was that movie taken from the movie was Stand By Me, and the name of the short story was The Body by Stephen King. So guys, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to play Guess That Movie? Alright, here we go. Let's change the channel, get rid of the Enderman. There we go. What movie is this, guys? And, bonus points, if you can tell me if it is the original or the remake. Looks like a fun movie. And I will say this is another one of my all-time favorites. And if you are an 80s kid, you're probably definitely going to know it. But there you go, guys. Get a good look. And you guys, let me know in the comments below. What movie is this? And is it the original or the remake? Alright, guys. We're just going to leave that playing. And let our little buddy here watch it while we go get to work. Now, one of the first things I want to do, I cooked some food before I went to bed. Let's grab that out. Um, I also want to put these eggs away. Oh, there we go. Eggs right in there. There we are. All right, guys. Now, I tried doing something with pumpkin head. Um, let me go get the tool that I was using on him and show you guys. It's one of the tools from the custom NPCs mod, and um, I, I don't know. I'm wondering if maybe there we are, the NPC pather. You know, this is the one that we create and edit them with. This is the pather. I, I like I said, I don't know if I'm, I'm maybe doing something wrong. I think I did it all right. I followed. All the instructions I could find online about it down to the letter. And for some reason, it still just does not seem to be cooperating. And let's go in here. All right. You see, we have pumpkin head here. And you guys remember, you know, last episode I left him standing over there in front of the fireplace. Well, I wanted to give him a path to follow. And to give an NPC a path, what you do, I don't know, it almost looks like he's trying, but, oh, I bet he's too big. Okay, let me just show you guys real quick first. All right, what you do to give an NPC a path is you right click on that NPC. And then you go around and you click the path on the ground that you want them to take you don't have to click every block or anything like that just kind of you know every few blocks and that's what I did with him and he never would go ahead and follow the path I set for him now that I'm looking at him and seeing him stand at the door I wonder if he is just too big to make it through so we're gonna shrink him down to size a little bit uh, 
Okay, maybe that will make him small enough to be able to get through the door. See, the path I set for him, he is supposed to start right here at the foot of his bed, come out, go out here, go this way around the pond, come up by the pumpkin stand here, and then go back around to right here and then turn around and go back the route he came and back into the house but he is not doing that so again i'm wondering it was it because he was too small i mean too large i'm not sure but he's still not doing it hmm I'm not exactly sure what to do with him at this point. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see what he does. Oh, he went in and shut the door. He opened the door. He's coming out. Okay. All right, my dude. You gonna do this? Oh, <gasps> it's working. I think it's working. Is that door somehow blocking his path? Nope, nope. There he goes. He's stopping and kind of look around. And I do have him set to pause to interact with other players or um, other NPCs. So that may be why he's stopped to turn around and look at me. Okay, man. Go on. Go the rest of the way. Okay. He's doing it, guys. He's doing it. Oh, well, I know I sound ridiculous, but I am so excited. I was starting to think I had done something wrong. And it was just that he was too big to make it out of that door. So now we know that we really need to either make the doors bigger, which I may look at finding a mod or something to put on the Taz pack to accommodate that. So we either have to make... I hear a witch, and I hear a spider, I hear all kinds of batty things. But he's just kind of stopped hanging out there for a minute. Alright, let's go shut this door. Because I want to make sure he will open it to go back in when he does go back in. And I think we want to change the constant pauses. Um, AI movement pauses no okay done done okay he's coming back out well he still stopped to interact with us or with other npcs for that matter Okay, he's going on around, and he's coming back through. Um, dude. Um. Yes, he stopped to talk to us. Hi, how you doing, Pumpkinhead? Okay, you uh, you go on about your way. There we go. All right, I think we really need to go make him a um. A, 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 a sword so he can defend himself I don't know I don't know whether I should give him a sword or not to be completely honest because we are going to have guards that we're going to make up that are going to be um, protecting Halloween Town things like that so oh and he did the door he did the door all right That's awesome. That is so awesome. Okay. I, I Like I said, I'm conflicted on giving him the sword. And another thing I want to know, I have him set to um, shelter from the darkness. So another thing I'm wondering is, will he, 
even though we have him set on this path, is will he actually go in and stay in at night? So, I think right now, we're just going to leave him going. Uh, until we see if he is going to go in and shelter at night, let me go ahead and... Uh, oh, let me have that egg. Thank you. Let me go ahead and let's make him up a sword. Now, one of the things about the NPCs that you make with custom NPCs mod... Um, it does not matter if they have on armor. That's not going to protect them. Uh, it They're not going to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Give me that back. They are not going to do more damage with a better weapon. Anything of that nature. And the reason behind that is you set all of that in their settings. Um, okay, we got an iron sword here. Let's go give him that. Once we get over there, I will open up um, his settings and kind of show you guys a, just for a second what I'm talking about with that. And again, I will also put a link down to an amazing tutorial um, for the custom NPCs mod so you, you guys can kind of go check that out. And now that we've figured out that we probably need to be able to make bigger doors if we're going to have, you know, bigger size NPCs he should be coming out any minute there he comes all right let's open him up he's got an inventory right here let's put that in his inventory there you go my man you are set and let's see here stats uh, the stats is where you will set um, everything about the damage they take uh, how much their health is, the damage they dish out, all of that. So, and again, I will link that tutorial below in the description. That way you guys can go check it out and really dig into it for yourselves. Okay, there we go. He's got a sword, so we'll see. Let me get out of his way. All right. He's guarding the pumpkins here right now. So, he, he's good. He's good. So, let's go. Oh, I'm going to have to make up some more food. Let's go make up some more food. Um, put some things away. And we're going to get started on putting some furniture in our orphanage over there. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go ahead and do the furniture or if we should go ahead and work on the school. I'll make that decision in a minute. <laughs> okay, let's cook some of this up and we'll start that cooking as well. There we go. Put these eggs and this apple up. Come on, give me the foods. Give me the foods. Now, guys, I'm also going to make an announcement. I'll go ahead and do it while we've got this food cooking. I am about to start a new Minecraft series, which will... I'm not sure if it's going to come out before or after this episode. Hopefully before. I mean, after, excuse me. Um, but that series is going to be a bit different than this one. It is going to be based around the Taz pack that I'm putting together, but with a twist. And you guys will see what that is. Um, also, soon, uh, as soon as I finish working on some of these custom recipes for the Taz pack, we are going to slap Taz on a community servers for me and some of the folks in my community. And... When we do that, oh, I need to make some more stone bricks in there. Hmm. When we do that, we are going to give the server a very specific name. And we are also going to have a very specific set of rules for the way 
gameplay is done on that server. Um, the server will be called CMS for CM Stars. PP Craft. And you guys are probably sitting there going, what the hell is PP Craft? It's pacifist play. We are going to have the rule that you cannot kill any mob that is not aggressive. They cannot be murdered. They cannot be slaughtered. You'll have to find another way to get the resources you need and get the food you need. So, and you guys probably noticed I play that way for the most part already. So, it's going to be fairly easy for me to sit to that but some of the folks i play with including my husband are not used to that type of play so it's going to be interesting to see how they deal with it okay guys this is going to be the kitchen for our orphanage here so i think what we need to do is go ahead and figure out what kind of kitchen we want to set up do we want it to be you know very primitive like or you know wh what are we going to do here how do we want to do this so let's go over here to the workshop take a look in the crafting table and see what all we do have available to us to get started with now we're not going to definitely not going to completely finish um the orphanage today but i do want to get quite a bit done okay so let's see here let's go to i guess the first thing one of the first things we need to decide is are we going to want a um more modern stove or one of the uh black wood burning stoves uh, hmm Oh, and I forgot I added useful interiors on here. So we also have these available to us. What do I need for this? Okay, so that will take magma blocks, iron bars, three furnaces, and a counter. What does it take for the counter? Black terracotta and orange terracotta. Hmm. I don't think I have any black terracotta. I'm, as a matter of fact, I pretty much no I don't uh let me check these first I've got black concrete but I don't think that's going to work hmm okay let me take a look over here <clears throat> I've got a little bit of black dye not much let's go down here i know i've got some terracotta down here let's see what it would take to make that black terracotta um okay we can do this we can do this we just need the regular terracotta and that dye and I have the regular terracotta right here. I'm going to go ahead and make all of those up. Alrighty, there we go. Now let's go back over here to this. And... Okay, we're going to need... Do I have magma blocks left? I think I do. If not, we may have to make a quick trip to the nether. Wrong chest. Ah, I've got two. Hmm. And how many does it require? It requires exactly two, but you've also got to make... Uh, All right, that requires two. That does not. Okay, all right, all right. We can do this. Let's get some cobblestone, which I believe I have some down here. Well, I thought I did. Oh, good. Whew. I was going to say, oh, Lord. Have I went through that much cobble already? 
Um, I believe I have some iron ingots up here somewhere. There we go. Oh, I had plenty on me anyway. Duh. I didn't even realize. Oh, we've got to make that. Okay, so we still got to have another orange, some more, um, terracotta. D didn't it say the orange terracotta? Is that what it said? Yes, and I should have that right up here. There we go. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, we've got that now. We need to make some furnaces. Okay, we've got that. And we're going to need three furnaces for that. So, all right. Oh, the iron bars. All right, now we've got those. And we've got that. There we go. And now, yes, we have our oven for over there. That's awesome. Now, we need to look at refrigerators as well and also uh, cabinetry. Okay, that's from the hospital mod. And... Uh, no, I don't think that will really look the way I would want it to in, you know, a home setting. Hmm. So we need white concrete, a block of iron, and two chests for that. But do we really need one like that big? Honestly. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just wanted to take a quick second to thank you for hanging out with me and to answer a question that I get from some of you from time to time. A few of you have asked every so often if there were ways that you could help support me, my writing, my channel, or any of the other channels and projects I'm involved in. Well, there is a link for that. Actually, there's a couple of links for that <laughs> so just look in the description below look for where it says support follow those links and you'll find multiple ways to show your support include many that will not cost you one red cent support is appreciated but not expected please keep that in mind I just appreciate you guys hanging out thanks so much and let's get back to this video Voila, we have uh, the fridge. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, now we need to look at kitchen cabinets. Hmm. I'm really kind of liking those, honestly. And, okay, you need a trap chest or an ender chest. And the iron ingots and the orange terracotta and that that's fun so um, we are gonna need to make several of those though oh, now wait a minute That one requires the... Okay, you don't have to have a trap chest. You can have any kind of chest. Alright, alright. That is fine by me. And... It makes two each. So that's good. Um... What about counters? Because hmm. I really want some counters that are kind of going to match. Um. Alright, so we're going to have to have more chests for those. 
A uh, counter with a fryer? Oh, that's awesome. Counter with crafting table. A uh, counter with a sink. So let's go ahead and make that up. And what else do we need? Oh, there it is. For the sink. We've got it all. Okay, there we go. We've got that. Um... Got that now. Gonna want at least some with some drawers to them. Oh, that's one with a battery charger. Okay, cool. Counter with charger, but I would like some that had just like plain doors. Hmm. And, you know, didn't have to be a charger. But apparently we can't do those. So. Alright. This is a good start for right now. Let's go. Install these. Woo, there was a little bit of lag there. My apologies. And guys. I, go, I already go ahead and tell you. I'm not sure how the audio is going to turn out. Uh, because I'm having some mic issues again. I actually loaned my mic to someone and, um, they kind of broke it. So, do y'all hear all of that? Is that below or is that here in the mayor's house? In the mayor's house, we've got to get around to doing it up at some point as well. Hmm. I'm not seeing anybody in here. Yahoo! Knock, knock. Hello. I don't see anyone. Let's check in here. No. Pretty sure nobody's up top. I mean, it's daytime, so... Yeah, nobody's up here. Hmm. Uh, let's check these two downstairs rooms. No, I'm not seeing anybody. Hmm. It's got to be somewhere underneath us. Um, a cave or a mine or something down there. And I've got a feeling I know a way to get into that. We'll have to do that at another time. Okay. All right, how do we want to place these? I think it would be great. Actually, I think I'm going to end up making another sink. We'll have two sinks right here. Oh, look at it. You can splash it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, yes, I'm like a child. I apologize, okay? All right, we're going to put the fridge there. Mmm... -hmm. And you know what we may end up doing? We may build a, a kitchen island right here. Just a little small island. Yeah. I think that would be fine. Okay. And then we'll end up putting another one of those there. We'll put another one there. We're also, like I said, going to need another sink to go right there. Uh, let's see here. We've got these. Hmm. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, we're going to put that one right there. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, and then we've got these cabinets. Hmm. We're going to put cabinets up here. Oh, 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 oh. No, Mandy, no. What'd you do? Give me that back. Okay, I thought I made two. Okay, that's all right. Did I make four rights? I thought I made two rights and two lefts. Oh. Mm, okay. We'll have to kind of fix that. 
but you guys get the general idea of where I'm going with this. And I'm going to finish the rest off camera and then I'll bring you guys back and kind of give you the big reveal. Okay, Bubbles, we are back and we are ready to show you guys what I did with this kitchen. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, shut. Are you kidding me? What the devil? I thought I had it lit up in here good enough. No, kitty. I didn't. Let's check the upstairs real fast. And then we'll go take a look. I don't remember putting you there. But I must have, right? I don't remember putting a kitty cat there. But surely I did. Or, you know, like, it wouldn't be there, right? Where'd you come from? Hello, kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay. Okay. I don't think there's anybody else up here except for the butterfly. Hello, butterfly. All right, guys, let's go down and take a look at what I did to this kitchen. Here we go. Oh, he's done climbed up and got on the counters. Hi, baby. Hi. All right, guys, this is our new kitchen here at the Halloween Town Orphanage. And I'm debating on maybe I should put some cabinets, you know, cabinets similar to that, build them around the fridge. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, guys, this is it. We got some pots and pans hanging up. Got a little pot over here. We've got plenty of cabinet space. And we have our oven here. And I've got to figure it out, though. I had to make some of these, the battery chargers, um, because this requires a battery. But I haven't made any batteries. I'm not sure. Um, let's go ahead and look that up real fast before we end this episode. Okay, here's the batteries. Low capacity. Medium capacity. High capacity. Uh, no, we don't want creative. Okay, so this is going to take one, two, all right. What does it take to make one of them? Okay, so we're going to have to do all of these first. Okay, we will do all of these, get into the battery aspect of this in the next episode. Also in the next episode, I thought about something we might could try over at Pumpkin Heads to actually um, allow him to go back to the size we originally had him and still be able to get in and out of the door. Just something to try. I've been trying to find a door mod that will fit the specific need I have. But I haven't found one yet. So I'll keep looking on that end. But yeah guys. Here, here we go. We've got. I think it's a nice little kitchen. And we've got this little bar that comes off the end here. Some little bar stools. You sit up here and eat your breakfast. You know all that kind of stuff. Oh. I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> but you can sit up here eat your breakfast all that kind of stuff um and it's just it's nice it's very nice why can't i get off it um hello what the devil why can't i get off it oh i bet i know why uh-huh it's in my controls. Let me fix that. Be right back. Okay, guys. You know what? I just took a little look. And I have a lot of uh, conflicting keys set um, because of all the mods that are in the pack. So, it's going to take me just a little bit to get all that done. Um, yeah. So, I'm just going to go ahead and call this one here. And, uh, you know, my character is just going to sit right here and chill out at the bar while i take care of this <laughs> but you guys see what we got done to our kitchen and guys don't forget name that movie for me in the comments below and also let me know is it the remake or is it an original all right guys i am about to get out of here for now thank you so very very much for stopping by and hanging out with me today 
And guys, as always, keep reaching for the stars and aiming high. Make sure you do it every single day in everything you do. And I promise you, you will not let yourself down. All right, guys, for right now, I am out of here. Catch y'all later. Bye, y'all. Okay, um, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. This is, this is no fun. This is no fun. <laughs> help! Little one, go get help. Go get Pumpkinhead. Get help.